Hello everybody, welcome back, day 107. Today uh, I had only two games and um, surprisingly they, they went, I mean, I managed to win these games, which is insane because this last, I would say 20 games were terrible, the last 20 games that I had. And um, in fact, I dropped a lot of points this is usually because when I'm on the road, it's very difficult to, to find a good place where you are calm and where you can concentrate and just have a, a few games. And uh, I usually I'm usually playing very weird environments, you know, Starbucks with kids crying. And that that has an effect on me. That's it's very interesting because uh, I thought I would be able to play everywhere. And in reality, no, <laughs> I cannot. So, yeah, so that's that's something I discover. In any case, today I had two games and um, I think two games and they were OK. So let's go through the games. Let's see where I can do better. And again, I, I just feel so guilty for for like filming games and I, I was losing. I got a, a, a fourth draw and uh, and then I film and I, I mean, I hit record and I just managed to win. It just makes no sense. I think just because I'm pointing out what I'm thinking, that kind of reduce the number of blunders. Or maybe it helps me to plan ahead and, uh, and approach the game in a different way. With that being said, let's take a look at the game. So as you probably saw from the community post now i'm aiming for 80 percent accuracy so very good 84 percent accuracy one blunder which is very good two mistakes three inaccuracies let's see so i was playing with the white pieces which means vienna and so far so good right here it was i don't know i was talking about something and and just yeah, I just messed up. I just went for that, which is a mistake. I, I know it was just uh, me talking. I pushed the pawn. Um, I, oh, that's a blunder. Okay, so I should move the queen. Mm. <laughs> Very interesting. Move the queen and then attack the queen. Oh, that's a beautiful combo, yes. You move the queen, you attack the queen. Uh, push that defender by the knight and then take ah, fantastic what a what a sequence yeah I actually one second ah uh, yeah it's it's okay okay so I should first address this so that he doesn't have the time to go here and pin my knight okay I instead went for that which is a blunder he pins my knight, I take, he went there, I went back, which is the best move, take, take, he decided to move on this side, I, that's a mistake, okay, so what's, I mean, why would you do that, just free pawn like that, hmm, hmm, I don't understand too much this. Mm, maybe just to prevent uh, this move if I decide to do so. Uh, in case he casts, I didn't go for that. He castle, I castle, which is the best move. Bishop out. That's not a good move. Bishop. Here the best move would be to put already the bishop on the white diagonal. Decided to take, he took, and now would be I think still that. There is this. He he took, which is a mistake. Take. I uh, went there, which is an inaccuracy. I probably should have addressed this. Oh no. No addressing, just attacking the, the queen. And oh, 
Oh, look at that. Wait a second. So you attack the queen. Um, wait, why that and not... Why that and not, let's say, this? This seems to make more sense to me. Let's go through this line, then I will analyze the other the other line. So until here, he's trying to block the diagonal. Makes sense. Take, take. I give a check. He decides to stop with the bishop. I take. He takes. And I go there. And if he takes my queen, that's game over. So he has to. Mm, he has to defend that with the knight, and I can take the queen. That is such a good combo. Okay. Okay. Now let's go back. Let's say right here he moves this pawn down okay go up mm. say there is that there is a take there is this that Take, I suck, which is the best move. Takes, takes, and then he stops. Uh, here I should have given a check. Oh, I didn't think about that. I went for this. Take. Uh, yeah, I was to give another check. Mm. Yeah. Let's see the best the best combo would be that so it's check and kind of force force him to lose the queen mm. and I went for that instead check 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 yeah so not too bad, not too bad, just a few things that uh, could have been done better. And here the blunder was really just not putting the queen there to do the whole thing. I realized that when you play the Vienna often the, the queen here is key. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at the second game because soon they will kick me out from this booth. Second game. 78% accuracy, mm, just 2% short of my goal, two blunders, two mistakes, one in accuracy. So again, we were playing with the white pieces, which means Vienna. This time he decided to attack me. Oh, best move is the other knight. So I need to take, then the other knight. Oh, internal. Mm. Here I decided to. Uh, here sh I should have pinned the knight. I went for that. This was terrible. It says. Actually, this was terrible for him, not for me. For what? Oh, that's me. I should have pushed that. Then. Okay, not 
nothing special here. Just track the knight, and the knight cannot go in the front. And he could go there. But then I do this, and then he's kind of trapped. Yeah. Alright. Anyway, he went on. Take. I decided to take with the pawn, which is a mistake. I thought I could defend, but then I realized I cannot. It's a mistake, or maybe not the best move. Um, blunder. Just take that pawn. Oh no. I'll take the pawn. Force a trade. Instead, we went this way. Ah, that pawn was hanging. I didn't realize that. And by the way, here I thought I was doing okay. We are at minus six. That is so bad. Best move here would be to move the queen to protect that pawn. He didn't see that. I didn't see that either. Then I decided to attack the queen. He went on the side, best move still to castle and forget about that pawn. I went for that. He decided to open, best move to attack the queen. He was to castle, I decided to take. And that's a blunder. Yeah, that's a blunder, I don't know, because then my queen is under attack. And then there was that, which is a blunder, but I was very disappointed because I kind of run into a fork. And I took, he took back my rook and then was checkmate. I mean, the most disappointing thing of this game was really that I ran into a fork, which I was lucky it was defended by the rook. But still, I would have lost the rook if there was not a way to checkmate my opponent. So yeah not exactly happy but um yeah not not terrible not terrible probably these moves yeah um these are probably moves that i make because i don't know what else to make so just go for something hmm. all right so that was day 107 now uh, i'll try to figure out a solution for the internet for the places where i can record and uh, when i have a solution i'll keep going with the with the with the videos stay tuned for the video about um, the tips that or the things that have helped me reaching 1200 and dropping down but reaching 1200 it's gonna it's gonna be online as soon as i'm back at 1200 um yeah because i don't want to post something it would not make sense and um and a few more videos are coming next week uh i think three videos about interesting games uh, interesting losses, interesting wins, and interesting situation that I managed to solve and I think could be very helpful for, for all of you that are trying to improve a chess. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's games. See you tomorrow for more chess.